guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kian and you are watching Kian by Design. And before I get into this video, I have to give you guys another huge thank you because we recently passed 300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I am really excited that you guys are liking this channel and that more of you keep coming. If you haven't subscribed already, you definitely should. Make sure to hit the button down below and ring the notification bell. Because I was checking my channel statistics the other day and I noticed that about 89% of you guys that watch aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you're part of those 89% of viewers who aren't already subscribed, you should go hit the button down below because then YouTube will just notify you every time I post. It makes it easier on you and it helps us grow. So for today's video, I'm going to be enlisting the help of a pretty popular app and that is TikTok. Now I am obsessed with TikTok. I spend a lot of my time watching TikToks and sending them to my friends. If you guys want to follow me on TikTok, I'll put my link down in the description below. And because the TikTok algorithm has me pegged to a T at this point, my For You page primarily consists of comedy videos, videos of cute boys, like I said, to a T. And of course, it would not be my For You page without DIY content. So today, I went through my TikTok and found three TikTok DIYs that I'm going to be recreating in today's video. And a quick disclaimer before we start, I get a lot of comments on my videos where you guys tell me that I make these projects look so easy. I cut out a lot of the mistakes. But with today's video, I could not help but run into issues with these projects. Don't get me wrong, they still turned out great in the end, but I ran into a lot of setbacks, which I will tell you guys more about in the actual tutorial. So let's get into these TikTok DIYs. So the first product is a pretty simple one, and I'll be sure to link the original TikTok creators down in the description below. But this person made a really simple textured vase using just a plain glass vase and some textured spray paint, and today I'm gonna try my own attempt at creating that. To create the simple textured vase, I'll be using a plain glass vase from the dollar store, stone textured spray paint, white craft paint, and a paintbrush. I started by taking my vase outside and giving it an even coat of the stone textured spray paint all the way around. I recommend doing more than one coat of this textured spray paint because in the end, mine did not have as much texture as I would have liked, but you should completely cover the outside of the vase. Once the textured spray paint is completely dry, take it back inside and begin coating the vase with white craft paint using a paintbrush. Now you could use white spray paint for this step. I just decided it was cheaper and easier to go with a white craft paint. I gave my piece two even coats of the white craft paint and let it dry. And this is how the final piece looks. I styled it on my dining table with this vase and a candle that have very similar texture and color. You could put some greenery or a candle in this vase to really add to the ambiance, but I think that this piece turned out really cute. <laughs> This next project I found that I knew I wanted to recreate it. I've been wanting a new soap dispenser for my kitchen for a while. I hate leaving the plastic ones that come from the store out. So when this TikTok user made a video where she repainted a Victoria's Secret lotion bottle to look like a nice soap dispenser, I thought that was something I could definitely do. Now instead of using an existing lotion bottle and having to clean it out, I just went to the dollar store and got an inexpensive soap dispenser and we're gonna give it a little facelift. To create my own take on this DIY soap dispenser, I'm going to use this soap dispenser that I picked up from the dollar store, some green spray paint, some metallic gold spray paint, a UV resistant clear coat, and some painter's tape. So I started by taking apart the soap dispenser and taping off the top of the bottle. And originally I was going to paint the soap dispenser itself, but this is where I sort of ran into some problems with this project and had to go a bit of a different direction. So I brought my bottle outside and started coating it evenly with the green spray paint. I rotated it by sticking my finger inside that bottle opening and twisting it around so I wouldn't ruin the spray paint job. You're going to want to make sure the spray paint is completely dry before you touch it. I definitely made the mistake of touching it and wound up with some fingerprints and had to give the bottle a few more coats. So while that was drying, I moved on to the fail part of this DIY where I tried to spray the soap nozzle with the gold spray paint. The paint really wasn't sticking that well. It was kind of runny and it really just didn't give the soap dispenser the finish I was going for. So I scrapped this idea and ran back to Dollar Tree to get another soap dispenser and I came across this one. I liked the style of this pump much better and I thought I could modify it to fit the soap dispenser I was making, so I decided not to spray paint this one. To heighten the style of my soap dispenser, I decided to tape off a small line on the bottom of the bottle itself. I'm going to spray paint a small gold border along the bottom of the bottle, so to avoid getting gold spray paint on the rest of the bottle, I covered everything but that bottom part in newspaper. Once all of the paint is completely dry, I'm going to take this UV resistant clear coat and coat the entire bottle in it. Since the soap dispenser is going to be touched a lot by people's hands, you really want to make sure that the paint isn't going to get damaged by sealing it in. I let that clear coat completely dry, filled the bottle with my favorite hand soap, and displayed it on my kitchen sink, and now I have a stylish soap bottle that matches my decor. Now 
this very last project I am absolutely in love with, but it's definitely the one I struggled with the most. So you guys may have seen these glass album artworks going around. They look so cool. And I found a tutorial on TikTok where someone showed how they made their own. And if you can do it correctly, it'll turn out great. So let's witness the struggle. To create your own glass album cover, you're going to need a dollar store picture frame, some double-sided tape, a paint marker, and a printout of the song that you want to use. Since I'm making this as an anniversary gift from my boyfriend and I, I went with our song, which is Ozma by Shannon and the Clams. If you guys want to give it a listen, it's a really good song. To start, you're going to want to remove the glass from your picture frame. Then taking my printout, I'm going to separate the album cover from the song title. I'm going to position both pieces under the glass to make sure everything's where I want it and securing the song title and details down with some tape. I then cleaned off the glass with some Windex just to make sure it was nice and clean to write on. Then taking these Craft Smart paint pens, I'm going to start tracing the letters. If you make a mistake like I did with this letter M, you can simply take some nail polish remover and a Q-tip and remove your mistake and start drawing again. Now I will say tracing the words with the paint pen was incredibly easy and it went on really well. However, when it came to tracing all of the details such as the lines and the play buttons and such, I really struggled and the paint pen started giving me some issues with leaking and bleeding. If you can, I recommend probably using a Sharpie paint pen. I could not find those at the craft store that I went to, so I ended up getting the Craft Smart version. To create the straight lines, I used a straight edge tool and traced the lines with my paint pen. And as you could see, I kept having mistake after mistake here. Every time I had to rewrite something, I would end up smudging something else and it was really just far frustrating. But once I finally got everything the way I liked it, I removed my printout from the glass, cut out my album artwork, used my straight edge to make sure it was in position where I wanted it to be, and then taking some double-sided tape, I'm going to place a piece of tape on each corner by lifting it up gently and taping it back down in place. I did this on all four corners as well as the center, laid it all down flat, and when it's done, you have this really awesome glass album artwork. I chose to display it over our stereo in our living room. I think it's a really nice personal touch, it's a conversation conversation piece, and who doesn't love music? Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's TikTok DIYs and the struggles that came with them. Be sure to follow me on my TikTok down below, and if you happen to find any DIYs that you want to see me recreate, just send them to me on TikTok and they'll be featured in the next TikTok DIYs video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know, hit the subscribe button down below, and be sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss when I post a new video. But that about does it for today, this has been Kian by Design, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Oh,